Hello guys, welcome back to another Marseille career mode episode, episode 3, we're going to have our first Le Classique and also Europa League will kick off, <coughs> and finally in this episode we'll actually, I'm actually going to be commentating games, <coughs> yeah, try a new 5 at the back formation as well, I mean we already tried the last game, um, but yeah, obviously it didn't really, it's only been one game so we'll try it again. And because of the last episodes, Varane was an in union. I was, I was curious, where the hell did he go? He went back to Madrid! <coughs> and apparently they were actually interested, but now they've pulled out in real life, so yeah. <coughs> First game is against Toulouse. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> so. Abu Klaal is on the bench. Zerbin, I think it's a Napoli Zerbin, is it? They've sold rest tests to Leverkusen if I'm not wrong. So, yeah. Let's um, decide on the lineups. <coughs> what the hell? Why is Conrad so tired? I don't know. <coughs> I'm gonna win Korea on the bench. I don't know why I'm fucking coughing so much. <coughs> the Kore. Gonna make his debut here in centre back. I signed him to be a centre back, of course. Oh, Dimitri, welcome back. Dimitri Pai is back. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be so weird. <clears throat> it's gonna be so weird. And um, just stay forward. Yeah, he's the only one that's gonna be staying forward there, baby. <coughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be the lineup. So let's head into the game against Toulouse. Oh, guess what? I forgot to record it. Absolutely brilliant. Well, these are the highlights. Obama and brilliant save from Dominguez. Paye and Aubameyang linking up very well there. It's a great save from the Toulouse goalkeeper. <coughs> Next up, Gorna. What a chance. Great ball by Paye again. And Gorna, if he had just kept that shot down a bit, he would have given us the lead, but he puts it so far over the bar. <coughs> oh my god, can you believe it? Dimitri Paye scores. What the hell? It's a tapping, I know, but still. The legend has scored. What on earth? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, no comment. He's too good. Then Dominguez again. Denying a sexy ass goal for Paye. What a goal! That would have been an absolutely sensational rising shot. From outside the area, look at that for technique. It's an absolutely superb save. <coughs> I've only got a bit more height on it. Corner to Gorna. It's a brilliant save again, Dominguez. What's a goal? That would have been from Lucas Gorna. <coughs> Bounce off the ground and it caused trouble. And then Joaquin Correa sealed the job done. Corner, cross it in. And Correa on the volley gets his first goal for Marseille. And seals the win. And our first clean sheet of the series as well. Can you believe it, man? <clears throat> what a hit from Joaquin Correa. Marseille 2, Toulouse 0. Start now it's time to have a first press conference in the Europa League against Brighton. Arguably the hardest team in the group. 
in Rio, Brighton they finished top ahead of Marseille in the final day, yeah. Go to at least make it out of this group. This is the group of death of the Europa League. We at least gonna make it. We at least got to make it through. And here we go. Marseille versus Brighton. Before the game begins, let the anthem unfold. First Europa League game of the season. Here we go. So here are the starting lineups for both teams. For Marseille, it's Ruben Blanco in goal, Barco, Yoro, Gay, Bemba, and Uro at the back. Gorna, Rangier, and Malinovsky in the middle. And it's Dimitri Payet and Elise Benzer here to lead the line up front. <coughs> Payet's first European match as player manager. And of course, he, had, he just had to play himself. But... Now, the Brighton lineups, their first ever match in Europe. How will the Seagulls fare? For Ruben starting goal, Webster, Donk, Biltman, and Estupinian at the back, Modé, Lalan, and Gilmore in the field, Soli Martin, Karimitoma are wide, and it's the Brazilian João Pedro that leads the line for Brighton in their European debut. So let the Europa League season get underway and um, also a bit of a warning. I don't know why but in this episode I legit could not pause the game. I had to press the PlayStation button to um, um, pause, I guess to get the game to pause and the, I don't know if it actually went into the recording or it just actually just caught by itself. Sometimes it does that. So. I don't know, the most likely thing, oh shit, well say, the most likely thing to happen is probably, he just, there's gonna be a random cut. Just like on, like, the beginning there, it, that actually, yeah, because I remember I was, I tried to turn off the music again, and yeah, he just cut, so, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of cuts in stuff, so, what is that, come on, Mitoma. Gilmore, I'm gonna actually commentate on these games and not talk about random shit like I always do in my previous videos. Ciao Pedro! Fucking hell, Brighton leads their first ever goal in Europe. Ciao Pedro. All comes from the stupidest of mistakes. Um, yeah. I hope in the next episode this is actually fixed. I don't know why I could not pause the goddamn game. Malinowski. Okay, Barco. Malinowski. Still. How on earth do you get muscled off the border, you stupid Ukrainian? <coughs> Veltman. Dunk. Moder. Is it Moder or Moder? I don't know. What a pass! Soli marches on sides, and then Bemba saves Marseille. What a tackle! Now Barco, potentially on the counter for Marseille. Ezekiel Barco. 
It's a bloody goal kick. Are you taking the piss, Barco? Come on. <clears throat> Gilmore. Sorry, March. Adam Lallana. <coughs> Billy Gilmore. Shao Pedro. Oh shit, that could be, that could well be a red card. Don't think it is. Oh, Modé comes close and there it was a yellow card. Thank God. Because refs this year on FC24 are bullshit. Would you on the on my um off oh party look at that I nearly went past those two. On my off recorded Karimo that I do, I legit get a red cost for every goddamn tackle I make and it's actually annoying. Even though some of them didn't even make the player fall. Just a joke. <clears throat> Honestly the thing we with EA oh shit, two now. Brilliant save Blanco. The thing with EA is, um, even though, like, for example, you make a last man tackle, even the, even though the play doesn't go down, it still counts as a last man tackle. And even if they play on, if they don't score, it still counts as a last man tackle, a goal denying tackle. Oh, it's, that is just stupid as hell. They didn't even score from it. Like, bro, that's the most annoying red cards to get, honestly. Anyways, back to the game. Corner. About, uh, not about me, I'm Vincent here. What is that, Poye? <coughs> Blood try to be too cheeky, innit? What on earth was that? Long ball, sorry, March. Oh, sorry, March. Lorana. Modern, great save from Blanco again. Now Mitoma, the danger man. Here we go, Mitoma. Look at the dribbling on that man. Adam Lana, good save, Blanco, and he keeps holding it just about. Corner. Can we get it going finally? Switch. It's an awful switch. You had, you made strides for that. Come on, at least make the switch, bro. Lana, Veltman. Veltman's gonna score. Joe Pedro, what a tackle, Mbemba. And again from Gorner, that's brilliant defending that. Fair enough. Gorner, what the fuck is his passing? Ben Sahi can get it. And takes the man out, jeez. Brighton have dominated. Oh my god, it's in a mistake. Adam Ulana, what's, he, what's the bullet doing? Oh my god, he just rids me. Jao Pedro, still. Soggy March. Ruben Blanco again to the rescue. He's keeping us in this game by himself. Literally, man. March. Mitoma. Oh, God. Mitoma. Webster. Lalana. Mbemba again. Gay clears. That's it. It's a terrible first half. What on earth was that? Absolutely shocking. <coughs> And decided to make some changes here. Ben Sahir said to take off for Ismail Saw for the pace on the counter. And enjoy for Malinovsky. Bit more of, a, of, of an advanced road. There we go. Alright. Second half. Marseille need to regroup. <coughs> Using your first game in Europe is always costly. <coughs> Man United. Uh -huh, yeah. We don't talk about that. No, I mean, it's shit in Europe. What the fuck was that? Or how do you lose to Copenhagen is beyond me. I Galatasaray, I knew they were always going to be difficult, but not Copenhagen. I'm sorry, but who the hell predicted Copenhagen would go through the dead group? If it wasn't Bayern United, people would think Bayern Galatasaray because of the insane squad Galatasaray have. But yeah. Oh shit, Jao Pedro, he chipped Blanco, you dickhead. 2 0 Brighton. Um, this is not good. Smile saw. He has experience facing Brighton, Watford. 
that is barely because Warford get relegated all the time. Enjoy. Dimitri Paye. Dimitri Paye. Oh, what a what, what an interception. And Paul Barco's offside. Brilliant. Can we get it? Yeah, Saw. Corner. Dimitri Paye. Paye as well. Whoa, whoa. Enjoy. Enjoy. Gorna, he gets one back. Can you believe it? What a goal. Lucas Gorna gets Marseille back into the game. Look at this from Enjoy. I mean, get, gets a bit lucky, but no one marking Gorna at all. And it's a simple finish. Yeah, see? That's the cut I was talking about. Barco moving to the right. Lodi coming on. Change some instru some instructions there. I just realised now I should have just played enjoy on Pye's position. I am actually so dumb. Anyways, um, back into game Marseille. Can they make a comeback like they did in the first Europe League game in real life this season? They came back from like what three one to draw three three with Ajax, the shittest Ajax of all time back then. I don't know how they even were. How they were even using 3-1. Bro, you lost to a fourth T side. What on earth? <clears throat> Yoro, oh shit. Oh shit. What a pass from Gay. Fair enough, Lodi with the skills. Get it in joy. Back to Lodi. Paye. Back to Renan Lodi. This is brilliant. Lodi. Enjoy. Paye. Ah, oh, he screws it up, Dimitri Paye. <laughs> Gilmore. Still Gilmore. Lugana. Lugana. Easy for Blanco. Now Lodi. Burners. Up the Burners. Corner, Paye, Smile Saw. What is he doing, Smile Saw, bro? Honestly, I, I'm starting to feel that Smile Saw is just a pace merchant, really. He's. Let's be real. We only know him because he's got. He put in that performance against Liverpool in 2020 to end their invincible record that season, and he's. And just because he's a pace merchant, that's it. He has no end product whatsoever. Lewis Dark seals it. I think that seals it. 3-1. That surely seals it. <coughs> so, go on. We need to get something quickly if we were to make a comeback. Lewis Dark, of course, Mr. Brighton just had to score in Brighton's first ever European game. Oh, Lodi's done well. Lodi has a bit of experience playing against Brighton. With Forrest, how do you miss that header? Or that cross, whatever. Shocker again from Esmailer Saar. Gorner. Saar again. Paye. Enjoy. Can he do something? Can he get something under this? Enjoy, Lodi. Lodi just about gets it. Gorner. Gorner. Dimitri Paye. I don't know why I always call him Dimitri. Gorner. Enjoy. Lodi. Oh my god, this moment so I've missed. Oh my god. Even I would have scored that. I'm sorry. Even I would have scored in that. And I can't shoot shit. And Bamba. Straight above Bruggen. Oh my god, two chances blown. Barco wins it, come on. Gay, Roger, enjoy. Ismail Sa waits for the run of Gorna. How do you screw that pass up again? Ismail Sa, he's had an absolute shocker. <coughs> ja Pedro, he's in for the hatch. Oh dear, oh dear. What is. 
try to take a quicker look at what the game does. Sensational. Yoro. Paye. Enjoy. Ismail Asar. He was super in preseason, but now he's just awful. What is he doing? And that's the game. European campaign kicks off in the worst possible spot. It finishes. Olympic de Marseille 1. Brighton and Home Valdian 3. What a win for Brighton on their European debut. Can you believe it? Joe Pedro, the little dickhead he is. My god, he snapped us apart. Now, press conference ahead of Le Classique. Team has been in poor form. The racing PSG were somehow below us, directly below us in the league. By just actually level one points, just the difference is we scored one more goal. That is it. Uh, yeah. Now, our first meeting with PSG, Le Classique, number one in this career mode. Let's get it. Big performance is needed. A different selection has been um, picked. Um, Lodi comes back in the starting 11 ahead of Barco. What is that, Mario? That's one of the rare mistakes that he's made. And um, there, uh, Joy is back for Paye. <coughs> and um, who else? I don't even know. Mario is back. I mean, he's always started in the uh, in the league as well, at least. Dembele against Lodi. Oh, what a sack called. Get it away. Brilliant defending. Enjoy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dembele. Mbappe. Mbappe. Cross. Sole. What? He comes from another mistake. But how on earth has Carlos Sole got to the header? Got to the ball. So, what am I even saying? How did he even reach it is my question. Claus. Aubameyang. Gorda. Enjoy. Enjoy. Aubameyang. Back to enjoy. Little man enjoy. Look what a run. Need support. Vera 2. Enjoy again. Gorda hits the post! Oh my god, unbelievable. It should be 1-1. One, one. Anyways, PSG maybe to counter. Nah, it's, not, it's a terrible counter at least. Mbappe, what is he doing? Soler. Acuna. Lee. Lee has a go. Easy for Juve. Gorna, that's a brilliant take. Gorna, that's a bit of pace in him, but not too much. Enough to get past Mukiele. Nice, no, not enough. It's a terrible back heel. Lodi, but he makes it work somehow. Kondokbia. Aubameyang! Can you believe it? It's Pierre. Emrick Aubameyang, who levels it up for Marseille. In the classic, brilliant play. Somehow the goal in the back flick actually ended up in a goal. PSG won, Marseille won, and we have deserved the equaliser. Hit the post earlier. That should have been a bloody goal. If there was anyone else in Gorno, it would have been a goal for God's sake. Mbappe. I legit put every pacey defender we had to stop him. That's legit it. I put the 
Right, the paciest centre back we have for the club. Oh, oh shit. Okay, good, good. Kendokia, good, brilliant. Gona. Enjoy. Aubameyang. Go, uh, Gona. Oh, God. It's a simple pass, mate. Mbappe. Mbappe. Oh. Just saw it again. Paul Rossoria has stepped up in this La Classique PSU 2 Marseille 1 oh shit Valeri November Maria Rodi Skins 1 Go Corner Corner Oh I knew he got to very 2 I think that was Mbemba brilliant interception Rodi, Gorna, Kondopia, Abamyang, he waits, and Ilman and Jai, Gorna, Rodi, oh, oh, Rodi, oh, you dick, can you believe that? Danilo, Danilo Pereira, can't believe he's still playing for PSG, that is, oh my god. Dembele, Sole, he could have just shot there for the hat trick, but he didn't, thank God. Bamian, bad pass, but whatever, Vera 2, makes you work, Ndiaye, quick counter from Marseille. Iliman Ndiaye, that's a terrible pass to Bamian. If that was Prima Bamian, maybe he could have gone there, but he, should, he, sh he shouldn't really go for it for these days. Bamian has lost so much pace. Cunha. All close wins it back. Merry Christmas, by the way. And Bemba. Enjoy. Corner. Rodi. Oh. Enjoy. 2 2. Can you believe it? Right before half time, Millie Man Enjoy, the man from Sheffield United. Has scored in the classique to level it up. He's been a standout player this season, let me tell you that. It's a brilliant goal. And the Senegalese? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The Senegalese player levels it up. Right before the break. It's 2 2 at half time. What a game! Dembele Pitinha back to Dembele Mbappe Dembele pace burst oh but too much Mario been one of my favorite places to use honestly the center back was a master stroke playing him there in the three at the back especially Bamiyan, what a ball. Rain on Lodi. <clears throat> Rain on Lodi. Kondopia. Bamiyan. Vera 2. Gorna. What a ball again. Lodi. Get to someone, Marquinhos. Gorna. Kondopia. Bamiyan. Enjoy. Kondopia back to enjoy. Oh, Marky. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Still. Rodi. Yeah, it's not really going across. I mean, goes to the far post. Vero 2. Aubameyang. Oh, Kondokbia the superbly. Kondokbia, what a block. Rodi should just have a go. Oh, it's a brilliant save anyways from Mavas. He should have just had a go there, Rodi. I think that would have had a decent chance of going in. Claus puts this one in. Abamian, enjoy! Oh my god, we are dominating PSG now. Can you believe it? Oh, it's back. Mario. Vera 2. Kondopia. Corner. Look at this football. Enjoy. God's sake, Marquinhos has been so good. It's 
Soler, Mbappé, Dembélé, Pitinha. Oh shit, that's the man I thought, you dickhead. Oh fuck. Cancel and Bemba. No, it's another yellow card. Thank God for that. Mbappe's not even going for it. Acuna, simple for close. Thank God for that. Vera 2. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Close, he couldn't get there. Kalimuani's come on now. <coughs> oh, Mbappe! With a good save, and for the most part, Mbappe has been kept quiet in this game. That's his first big chance. Oh, Cunha. Where's the ball going? And Duf with a quick reaction save. Thank God for that. Dembele. Cunha, they take it short again. Cunha. Pogamuani. Thank God about me on clears. Terrible touch from Pogamuani, but to be fair, the ball was going. At as much speed. Oh, he's missed him. Acuna Beredi. No. Shit. Kalimulani. Kalimulani and Bemba there again with a block. And again. Marquinhos. What a save. What a save from Duf. Yeah, thank God the cuts aren't really that visible. Um, and GI off. For Cho. Korea is going to come on as well for Veritu, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. You can play him well. yeah, chill. I just don't get it. Why has he gone such a big pace down here? Did he lost a leg or what? Anyways, Cho. So does he have the pace? No, he does not. Not yet, at least. He will have in the future, but not now. Should have just crossed it. Mukiele. Mbappe. Honestly, the defense has done well to keep, to keep Mbappe at bay. Vitinha. Danilo. Saw so for the hat trick, it's a brilliant save, get it away. Oh, Doof as well has been superb. Lodi is still 2 2 somehow. No goals in the second half so far. Obamian. Show. Lodi gets there. Fair enough, Lodi. Yeah, he just forced across. No one was in the box. Killer Navas. So there, Acuna, last seven minutes in Le Classique. Will we find a winner? Kogumuani, Mbappe. Acuna, back to Kogumuani. Back to Acuna, Mbappe. Oh shit, that's a terrible sack. It's not even a foul though, fair enough. Danilo. <coughs> Mbappe, so there, chips. Murillo deals with it. Only as far as Mukiele. Marquinhos. <coughs> Soler, Kogamuani, that could have been a penalty. Oh, what a block again, Bemba. It's been a superb defensive display from this team, let me tell you that. Aubameyang, oh, what a turn. Cho, he's through. Mohamed Ali Cho to win it. Oh, God. He's hit the post. Fit the post again. Oh. You know how bad I reach when I was playing. You just know. You're lucky this is post commentary. You scumbags. Robbed of a win. Should have been 4 2 to us. Cannot believe it. Alright, before the end of the episode, scout report. France, absolutely dog shit. Germany, um, this guy looks decent. No. Matty Zimmerman. 2.8 million was it? Insane. That was it with that Ewan Horn or whatever that guy's name is. Now let's see. Ewan Horn. I mean, he's a decent player. 
Yeah, we'll just put stopper. Oh my god, Matty Zimmerman. What the fuck? Six, yeah, no, 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 no. Hold and get out. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, mate. Look at this man. Look at the pace he has for 17 year old defender. And look at the physicals for a 17 year old. That is insane. I've never had an academy player get scouted and have a stat that's like in the 80s from the get go. Matty Zimmerman. We have another banger. Yeah, Moya, get out. Um, Stefan Ryu, this guy, I mean, it's okay-ish, I guess, it's nothing too extraordinary. Just need to upgrade the pace at first, and the weak foot, that's what I always do. And Couturier, 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 well, I don't know, Couturier is a cam, just about. Well... Um, before we end the episode, let's check on next episode too. So it's going to be Monaco, Ajax, and Le Havre. Yeah, it's going to be those three. Le Havre, Monaco is going to be a good one. I actually don't, but all three are going to be good. And the next the next episode after that, oh, two derbies, Nice and Leon. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Peace.